Hey, it's Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Ink Nouveau. And today, I'm not talking about pens or about inks. I'm talking about mechanical pencils. Now, hopefully you won't think this is too much of a travesty because I'm going somewhere with this. Uh, Twisby is a brand that makes fountain pens. You've probably heard of the 540, made them with the VAC 700, the Mini, the Micarta. Um, they've been making fountain pens for a little while and I've enjoyed their products. But they also have mechanical pencils. Well, recently I've been getting a lot of questions about their mechanical pencils and just pencils in general. So I thought, you know, what the heck, I'll explore it a little bit. Um, the Twisby has a couple different flavors of pencils. Okay, they've got a 0.5 and a 0.7 millimeter lead. They've got it in black and in silver. They've got it in a retractable point as well as a fixed point. So there's a few different things going on. I want to kind of explain what the pencils are like. Now granted, I'm no pencil aficionado. Uh, I'm more of a pen guy, but I thought these pencils are really kind of cool. Um, you can tweak with them, you can do some neat things. And granted, of course, I'm, I'm more into fountain pens, but you know, I thought these pencils were neat. I played with pencils a lot as a kid. I used mechanical pencils all through school, so it's not anything like completely foreign to me. Um, but I thought at least there was something good here to share, maybe get some information about a product that I think is pretty cool. So anyway, here is the Twisby mechanical pencil. This is the box for the Twisby mechanical pencil. It's a little bit thinner than the pen boxes. You know, here's a box for the VAC 700, but they're all pretty much the same, um, except for the pencil. I think the Micarta box is different too. But anyway, um, the pencil box is noticeably thinner than the pen box, and part of that is because uh, it doesn't actually have its own case inside. It just is kind of inset in the foam inside the box, which is fine. It's a, it's a $25 pencil, which, um, you know, I'm not really sure how that goes as far as all, you know, nice mechanical pencils go, but as far as fountain pens go, you know, that would not be an extremely expensive fountain pen, but again, that's apples and oranges here. So anyway, here's the packaging. It comes with the mechanical pencil, comes with a pack of lead and a set of replacement erasers. Um, so I'll show you all these pieces. Um, there are eight different versions of the Twisby mechanical pencil. Um, there's two different colors. There's a silver and a black, which I'll show you the black uh, over here. That comes in a 0.5 and a 0.7, and it also comes in either a retractable or a fixed tip. Now you're probably wondering more than anything, what is the difference between a fixed and a retractable tip? And I'll show you right here. It is basically just that the fixed tip has this little metal part which feeds the pencil lead out that stays there all the time. It does not go back into the pen. The retractable one, as I press on the back, that tip actually comes out with the pencil lead, okay? And then I can either choose to leave it sticking out like that, or if I hold down the back of it as I'm pushing this down, it will actually retract back into it. It won't do it automatically, because if you think about it, every time you're clicking it, if it was moving back and forth, that would be kind of annoying. So you have to physically push the tip as you're letting go of the cap part, or the, um, the eraser end uh, in order to retract it completely. But what's the idea behind retractable versus not? Well, the non-retractable is more like a drafting type pencil. It's meant for precision. It doesn't wobble. It doesn't move at all. It's very precise. And actually, I prefer to write with the fixed one. But the retractable one is more convenient. Um, if you're putting this in a pocket of any kind, like a shirt pocket, um, if you have this kind of sharp needle thing, it can stick through the clothing, and that's really not ideal. Um, it's just meant to be more convenient for kind of carrying it around. Now, this is probably a subtle difference, but you can notice that there's actually a difference in the shape between the two um, here. It's a slight difference. It's, um, the retractable one has a little bit of a rounded tip, um, and the fixed one has a bit of a taper instead of coming straight out and then rounding down. I don't really know if there's any functional difference there. I think it's more just an aesthetic thing. Um, and then the other difference is that the actual tip length is different on the two pencils. On the fixed one, it's just a hair under four millimeters. It's about 3.88 millimeters if you want to get that precise with it all. The retractable one only comes out to about 2.75 millimeters. So I don't know if that 
just a hair over one millimeter difference in length of the tip really makes a difference to you, but if it does, now you have that information. The pencils are fairly heavy. They're about 26 grams, and that's, I guess, kind of heavy for a pencil like this? I'm really not sure. You know, I'm more of a fountain pen guy, so I don't really know industry-wide or hobby-wide or whatever you want to call it, what the standard is for mechanical pencils like this. Um, it's all metal construction, so that undoubtedly adds to the weight. Uh, I actually kind of prefer the weight. I generally like a little bit heavier pens and stuff like that anyway. I got big hands and I, you know, I write pretty big and fast and stuff, and I, I kind of like a bigger, uh, uh, not a bigger, but a heavier writing instrument because it, to me, it just, it feels more solid and, and I like, it, I don't know, just feel good in my hand. I really can't explain it. There's not, not much of a rational reason to it. Um, you know, I personally am not going to be writing with a pencil for a long period of time, so I guess maybe if you're using a pencil for a really long period of time, it could start to feel heavy after a while, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that's really, you know, if you're into pencils, you probably know more than I do what, what difference it would make for you in terms of the weight. Um, but anyway, that's a pretty decent weight as far as a writing instrument goes. Um, you're seeing here the two different, you know, flavors of the color. It's got uh, black, which has um, kind of this yellowish etched, um, or not etched, it's uh, like an imprinting, kind of a, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Like a screen printing, I guess, that's what it would be. Um, so it's kind of raised lettering. You really can't tell it's raised. I'm just being really nitpicky there. Um, and then in the clip itself, it actually has the Twisby logo engraved with the Twisby name. So you can see there what it looks like. And I'm getting a lot of glare, but there you go. And then the silver one just has black, um, but it's the same engraving on both clips. Now one really cool thing about the Twisby pencil specifically is that it has a pretty darn long eraser. You may have noticed when I first pulled it out of the pack that it has some replacements with it. Um, it comes with three replacements. This is the length of the eraser. Okay, so it's a fairly thin eraser, but I don't think that's too uncommon um, for pencils of this size. Um, and the way that this thing works is you just pull off the cap and then you yank this thing out of here. It's got this little metal um, doodad that holds it in place. There we go. Um, and the idea is that it kind of grabs the eraser up at the top here so that as you use it, you just kind of pull it out further and further and it will hold it in place and will kind of friction, you know, friction fit in there so that it allows you to use the eraser pretty much to the end. I imagine this last, you know, few millimeters or so would be needed to kind of hold the thing in place. So you're not going to be able to use all of the eraser, but you get to use most of it. And then when you need to change a new one, you know, basically just stick a new one on there, blammo, you're good to go. Pretty, pretty simple. Not a whole lot of complex stuff going on here. Um, and then once you've pulled out the eraser, uh, that's where you dump the lead, is in here. Um, you know, there's 0.5 and 0.7 millimeter lead. Uh, you can get, you know, these sizes of lead just about dang near anywhere. Um, but it comes with uh, a pack of lead that's 12 pieces. Um, every now and then I see one that has 13, but usually 12 is what you count on. And then there's two that come in the pencil, so you're getting 14 sticks of lead with it. And that's going to last you a pretty good while, unless you're really, really writing a lot. And if you are, then you know who you are, and you probably have a good stock of lead anyway already. Um, you know, it just takes the standard, standard size lead. So um, I'll go ahead and write with both pencils here. Um, since I have the fixed versus the retractable, the writing experience with you know, the different types of pencils is not going to be extremely different, um, you know, mainly because the lead itself is going to give you as much a difference as anything else. Um, I personally don't know yet if there is a lot of variation in the different types of lead and the softness and stuff. I would imagine there are. I know there are with uh, wood pencils, but I don't know with graphite um, lead sticks like this if there's a great difference. But that's something that I have yet to learn. You know, this is really not something that I'm kind of running away with. I basically just got a few of these pencils because I was curious about them. You know, I'm very familiar with the Twisby fountain pen line, and I've heard good things from the fountain pen customers of ours that the pencils were really good. So I, you know, as a kid, I used a lot of mechanical pencils, and I've always enjoyed tinkering and stuff, and it seems to me like there's a, a fountain pen uh, 
you know, something about fountain pens and the people that use them, there, there's a common thread with people that are really into pencils as well. Obviously, there's different uses and stuff, but um, same kind of particularness and uh, drive to get a certain kind of experience out of your writing instrument um, that, that is shared between pencil people and fountain pen people. So I thought I would just go ahead and give it a shot, try it out. I didn't notice a drastic difference between the two, but, you know, when you have something that is retractable, um, it's going to be a little, just a little less precise than the fixed one. I knew that kind of going into it, and you know, obviously the lead is probably going to be a factor too. If you got 0.5 voices versus 0.7, the 0.7 is probably going to feel a little more solid when you're writing, just because the lead's a little thicker and stuff like that. Um, but then you can probably get more precision out of uh, your 0.5. So it all depends on how you use it. One really cool thing about pencil lead that's a little different than fountain pens is you know, when you're writing with it, it kind of starts out a little thinner when you've got a, just a flat piece of lead. And then as you use it, it kind of wears down on one side and gets a little fatter. Now you might find that annoying or it could be kind of cool. Um, but then you're left with, oh gosh, I don't even know if I can show this. It's such a small thing. There you go. So you can see how it's got kind of a little sharp angle there. Well, then I can just kind of flip it over. And if I want to write really thin again, you know, I can do that and kind of just kind of rotate and try and get the thinnest kind of experience that I want. You know, mechanical pencils to me are, are a very practical way to use pencils as opposed to wood pencils, which have to be sharpened and then resharpened and resharpened and resharpened. And, you know, the pencils, mechanical pencils to me are pretty cool. But then again, you know, I'm a pen guy mostly anyway. Um, <clears throat> the fixed ones, you know, feel very solid. I do like it. Even though it's only a one millimeter difference on this fixed uh, tip, you know, if you really if you really concentrate on it, you can tell a difference in the length. I mean, it sounds silly to say that, but going back and forth, I really kind of can tell the difference between the two. Of course, you can always extend the lead just a little bit further out on the retractable one and have it ultimately give you the same length. That's kind of the nice thing about the, the pencils, I guess, is you can, you can do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to test the uh, eraser. I shot the whole video and then I realized I didn't talk about the eraser, so I'm kind of adding this segment back in here. I hope you don't mind. Breaks up the flow a little bit, but I thought it would still be good to show you this. Um, I got my 0.7, this is my personal pencil. I chose a 0.7 with a fixed tip um, in the black. I like the black. Um, so really what I wanna do is I wanna get at the eraser and talk about that a minute. Um, show you a little bit of how it works. Again, I'm not a pencil expert at this time, but I'll at least give you my first impression about how it works. Now, the 0.7 lead's a little bit thicker than the other one, the 0.5, but I thought it would still be worth, you know, um, testing out the eraser. So uh, if I do just some regular tick marks and I'm like, oh shoot, you know, that really doesn't look so great. Um, yeah, that erases pretty well. Um, I imagine, you know, I'm really into fountain pens and stuff, and I know fountain pen people can be kind of particular. I imagine pencil folks are the same way, that you probably have an eraser already that is separate from your pencils that you enjoy, that, that works the way you want it to. That way, no matter what pencil you're using, you know, especially if it's like a fixed, like a wood pencil, you know, a lot of those don't even have erasers, you know, the nicer ones. So I imagine you already have your own eraser, so I don't even know if the eraser that's on the pencil is important to, you know, the more hardcore pencil enthusiasts. Um, I would love to get some feedback on that from you pencil folks, just so um, I can be better educated about that. But it seems to me that um, the one that comes on here does erase pretty well, and it's not like, you know, completely falling apart or anything like that. Seems to be erasing well, at least on the Rhodia. Um, you know, and then as the eraser goes down, obviously I would, I would move it back up. Um, let me try it on a different paper. I've got some HP 24 pound, um, you know, laser jet uh, paper, which works really well for fountain pens. And, you know, it works okay for pencils too. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, you can still kind of see where it was written. And I imagine if you're doing a lot of erasing, you're gonna be moving this eraser up quite a bit because I've, I've got visible wear on it just with the little bit of erasing I've done here. So I'm gonna blow through quite a, quite a bit of this because the eraser is so thin. 
Um, you know, and that's obviously the pencil is a factor. The design of the pencil is a factor. You know, the Twisby does come with three extra erasers. Um, so you get a decent amount of erasing uh, out of it. But, uh, you know, the last paper I wanted to try, I don't know if the paper even makes that much of a difference when it comes to erasing. I would imagine that it does um, just because, you know, the, the toothier the paper, the more wear it's probably going to have on the eraser. Whether it's a noticeable difference or not, I, I just, just don't know at this time. But it seems to work pretty well on this cheap Mead college rule paper that I have. This is a little more absorbent, a little, little uh, grittier paper. Um, okay, that works. So there's some visible wear on the eraser, but it's, um, it seems to perform well. I actually, I would have thought that the eraser wouldn't have held up as well. You know, some of the problems you run into with erasers, at least that I've used in the past, is they're either like too hard and rubbery, so it ends up squeaking on the page and just kind of smearing the pencil uh, lead, the graphite, or it's, you know, so soft that it just falls apart and wears away super fast. I would say this airs more on the side of you know, wearing away quickly than it does smearing and stuff. But I would say it, it performs pretty admirably. So hopefully that's at least of some help to you. There you go. As far as the lead goes, the lead, it seems to me at least, that the lead is pretty good that comes with this pencil. I don't know if it's a premium grade lead or a standard lead or a poor lead. I really don't know. It seems to me to perform really well. Um, I'm using it on a Rhodia paper though, so that might be why it feels so smooth and so good to me. Um, but usually, you know, as far as pencils go, you, you may want to use a paper that's a little toothier uh, than you would with a fountain pen. Because uh, fountain pens, you're usually trying to get the smoothest writing experience you can. Pencils, not necessarily. It depends on, you know, what you're going for, how dark you want it to be and stuff. If you got a pen that's a little, or a paper that's a little rougher, a little toothier, the pencil may actually perform a little better. It really just depends on what you're trying to do with it. But in any case, um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what's up with the Twisby mechanical pencil. Um, if you have any advice about pencils or questions or anything like that, you know, I would love to know. Again, this isn't, I'm not like the end all be all master of pencil knowledge here. I'm really just kind of trying to educate some of my fountain pen fans and, and folks out there who may have been curious about these as to what they're all about and, um, you know, to support a brand that I feel makes some pretty decent stuff. So. Um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, and I hope this was uh, helpful for you and at least educated you in some way. If you have any other questions about the Twisby mechanical pencils, or anything else for that matter, just leave me a note in the comments. Thanks so much for spending time with me today, and right on!